Hi everyone, this is Chris Green. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite techniques, sweet picking. Uh, I can remember way back when, when I was uh, going to guitar college, just being super excited about just the, the thought that I would be able to sweet pick one day. Uh, I think it's a really, really, really cool technique. Um, it's becoming more and more popular. So I'm going to show you a, a few things that I think are important with trying to refine this particular technique. Um, let's start with uh, an A major arpeggio. I think it's probably the most practical of all of the sweet picking arpeggios. Um, right up here on the ninth fret, it kind of actually uh, looks like a, a barred C major shape. With fret 12 on the uh, thin string added. Now, before we actually get into the playing, I want to let you know the two things that I think are the most important part about sweet picking. Number one, it's all about dampening. You don't, no matter how fast you play it, no matter how accurate you get it, if the damping, dampening isn't there, it's just not going to sound any good. So, as you're ascending these um, arpeggios, be very wary um, of two areas of dampening. First of all, with your right hand, um, this fleshy part of the palm here should be dampening the strings as they're coming down. So every time a, a string is uh, left dead, so to speak, make sure it's being covered here. Um, and with your left hand, as you're coming down the fretboard with your arpeggio, you should be trying to cover as many of the strings with your first finger as possible. So you're aiming to only have one string playing at any one time. So let's look a little more at this um, A major arpeggio. Uh, the difficult thing with some of these arpeggios is they're not very uh, round, so you know it's difficult to play them in threes or fours, they end up as like fives or sevens. So I'm gonna look at um, making them a little more round for you so you can repeat them and get your, uh, get your technique flowing a little more. Let's start here on the root note. A, fret 12 on the A string. Then we're gonna go 11 on the D, 9 on the G, 10 on the B, 9 on the E, and 12 on the E. Now as we come down here, you'll notice one stroke. You know, the term to sweep means to cover more than one string with the same stroke. So you're sweeping down. And you need this to be an extremely smooth action. You don't want to see, even if it's quickly, you don't want to see any of this individual picking going on. The sweep is, it's almost as if you're strumming a chord. So as I'm coming down, I'm trying to think about two things. Constant sweep and accuracy on the arpeggio here. So you're gonna to need to play through the arpeggio. If you're not used to it, play through the arpeggio over and over again, just make sure you know the notes. Otherwise, it's just gonna sound terrible. So, here we go. Let's just get down to there, fret nine. Pay attention to the right hand there. One motion. And then we're going to pick up on the 12. So this is good practice in itself here, because it's a round one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can just practice that one over and over again until you think you've got the dampening right. And then try coming back down again. Sweeping down is, uh, I don't know why, it's just always more difficult for a, for, a, for a lot of people. So pay a lot of attention here to the strings underneath the first finger as you're coming down. And you're trying to get as little background noise as possible. You notice I put a pull off there on the 12 to the nine. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the major third here on the bottom, on the E string. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make it round. So you're in a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the other thing uh, about your sweet picking, um, it sounds so much better on the neck pickup. You can try doing this on your bridge pickup, but if you want that really sweet sound, all done on that neck pickup. So remember, if you're, um, if you're mid lick, mid solo, and you're going to uh, a sweep, you know, knock that pickup across, get it on the neck pickup. So that's your uh, major arpeggio. It's like major position one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you one more position, which is uh, the minor equivalent there. And we're gonna play this up in, let me see. Okay, we're gonna play this in uh, D minor. Now, there's only one note difference, really, between the major and the minor, you just flatten the third. Uh, but that's going to affect this in three places within the arpeggio. So, uh, D minor, we're going to start here on fret 13 on the thick string. I'm just going to go straight down these notes. You know the technique now from the first arpeggio. So we're going to go 13 on the E, 17 on the A, 15 on the D, 14 on the G, 15 on the B, 13 on the E, 17 on the E. This is probably the most used arpeggio in metal, this, uh, this minor one. It's a really, really cool arpeggio. So, um, you know, get this one down. It's exactly the same technique, yeah? You're gonna sweep down, dampen everything as you're going on the way back down. Okay, so, if you want to put those two together. Okay, uh, if you want to make it a little more spicy, you can try and add a tap. If you want to put it in fours, for instance, all everything we were doing there was in triplet. Let's do one that's going to be in fours. Um, I'm a big fan of putting taps on the top of arpeggios. Um, I think it really widens the spectrum of notes. Um, Jason Becker was a huge advocate of these kind of arpeggios. So again, we're gonna start by putting the third on the bottom of the arpeggio, um, but we're gonna add a fifth to this minor arpeggio here. So instead of just sweeping in position here, we're gonna start on our middle finger with that first note. And then we're gonna play fret 12 on the A string. And then you're into the arpeggio. So you notice I'm actually going to pick down, up, down, and then we're into the arpeggio. But we're short one note. So let's get a tap in there. Now we're just going to tap on the, the root note for now, which is going to be up on fret 20. If you've got a Telecaster or a certain strats, I'm sorry, you're going to have to use your imagination and maybe bend the 21st here or something, all right? Not my fault you didn't buy a guitar with more frets. Okay, so here we go. There's the tap up the top. Now straight away from the tap, we're gonna pull off. You're gonna notice your hand position is gonna need to remain reasonably straight in order to pull this arpeggio off. So when you're standing up playing live, Trust me, you're gonna have to maneuver your guitar around a little. We can't all be Doug Aldridge and have a fantastic straight finger position <laughs> technique. So here we go. And remember again, it's all about the dampening. Try and keep the dampening, right hand, left hand. Get it as clean as possible. You want to do a little cheeky sort of, uh, you know, repeat in the top half of the arpeggio and mess around with the taps, you know, from the root to the flat seven or something. Oh, let's try that again <laughs> without the squeaking. Okay, so have fun. We'll talk about more of these arpeggios in the, in the longer lesson. I'm Chris Green. This has been Sweet Picking.